Hey friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from Tech Virus, and in this video, I'm going to unbox and review new Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Yes, Galaxy S9 Plus has been launched in India last week, and this is a 64 GB variant, which is blue in color, that is coral blue. Now, before unboxing this device, let me tell you what all things are mentioned on the box. So they have mentioned here about the screen size, that is 6.2 inches. They have mentioned about two cameras here. What is their aperture size? everything they have mentioned they have also mentioned about the 64 gb memory iris scanner ip68 water proof technology has been used in this phone i'll be talking about these things in detail when the video proceeds on top of this box you can see that they have mentioned about the pricing which is 70000 but in india we are getting it at 64900 and also they have mentioned that this phone has been manufactured in india now enough of talking let me quickly unbox this device and show you what all things are there inside Alright, so as soon as you open the box, you will see this small pamphlet kind of thing. Like here we have Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus written on this. And back side of this, you can see we have the SIM ejector pin. And inside this, you have a quick start guide, which is in English as well as in Hindi. Now, the best part is like you are getting a case with this Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. And this is a soft plastic transparent case, which is actually good to protect your phone from accidental falls. And then we have this gorgeous phone which I'll keep it aside for a while so that I can show you other things like what all accessories we have in the box. And the first thing is the C-Type OTG connector. The next one is the fast charger. So here you can see that they have mentioned as adaptive fast charger, which is actually really good, which I have been using in Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. And you can see the power capacity or the output is 2.0 ampere at 5 volt and at 9 volt it gives 1.67 ampere. And the next thing is the data cable. So here you can see that we have a black colored data cable, which is actually of good quality and it is a C type data cable. So here, let me zoom the camera. You can see that this is a C type data cable. And the next thing we have is the earphones. So these earphones are really awesome. They have tangle free wires and this sound system is given by AKG. And at the last, we have these extra four different size of earbuds. All right, now it's time to check out the phone itself. Here you can see that this is Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus coral blue color, and I'll remove the plastic from back, and then I'll remove the sticker and show you like how does the phone look from the back side. So here you can see that the phone looks gorgeous. It does attract some fingerprints, but it does not attract that much like which will be visible from far. Now let me quickly switch on the phone and do the initial configuration, and then I'll show you directly once the phone is configured. All right, so here you can see that phone is configured and I have installed all the apps like what I use normally. Now, now the first topic of this review is the build quality and the appearance. So here you can see the build quality of this phone is really good. It's a bit heavy, but it's manageable. On the right hand side, you can see we have the power button. At the bottom, we have 3.5 mm audio jack. We have C type connector. We have microphone and the speakers. On the right hand side, we have a dedicated Bixby button and volume up and down buttons as well. Now on the top of this phone, you can see we have noise cancellation microphone and we have the SIM ejector tray. Now let's look at the back of this phone. So here you can see that we have Corning Gorilla Glass 5 at the front. I'm not sure like if we have the Gorilla Glass at back, but definitely this is made of some kind of glass. And we have dual camera, fingerprint sensor, heartbeat sensor, and the flash at the back. Although the fingerprint sensor has been moved to the right place, but you will not use it because most of the time you will be using the iris scanner because that is quick, fast, and easy. Here in this video, you can see that I'm using iris scanner to unlock my phone. So what does it do? Like when you press the power button, it will project some infrared light on your face and also on your eyes. Then it will do a combination test of your face and retina and then it will unlock your phone. So this is a quite secure way and even the fast way to unlock your phone. And also note that this iris scanner works in complete darkness. I have tested it myself and it works flawlessly. The only drawback with the iris scanner is like it's not as fast as fingerprint sensor and it will not work when there is a bright source of light behind you. All right, now let's talk about the display of this phone. So first of all, I'll tell you like display of this phone is gorgeous. You will be mesmerized by the display of this phone. Like this is the brightest display I have ever seen. But please note that this is not 4K, this is 2K. And you have option to change the display settings. Like you can move from HD to Full HD to 2K. And to tell you that I have not seen much difference between Full HD Plus and WQHD Plus. 
all right now let's talk about the phone call quality or the network quality so here you can see that i am using airtel sim card which is one of the major network provider in india so here you can see that the network gets connected easily and to tell you that i have checked other phones like other s9 plus as well and i have tested it in different location at different location the network connectivity is really good it uses mimo and lte technologies and 4g technology to get your calls connected I have also used Reliance Geo SIM card which works on VOLT and VOLT also works very nice on this phone. It does great job in getting the data or the data connectivity is also great on this phone. So here you can see that we have multiple SIM card option like this phone supports two SIM card. Either you can use the second SIM card or you can use a memory card which supports up to 400 GB. And here you can see that the both the card supports 4G like you can put 4G SIM card in any of the slot. To tell you about the flawlessness like how smooth the browsing experience is, you can see that I can drag up and down, I can zoom any of the web page and it works flawlessly. There is no lag in any of the web browsing experience. I have used very heavy websites also like Times of India full site and it does not get stuck at any point of time. All right, now it's time to check the gaming performance of this mobile. Like how is the gaming performance of Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus? So as you know that this Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus in India uses Mali G72 MP18 chipset and Mali G72 is one of the fastest chipset for the gaming. So here you can see that the game loads in no time. Now let me quickly increase the graphics level to the max. So here you can see that I have changed the visual quality to better quality. That is the maximum quality which Extreme like Asphalt Extreme can support. Now let me restart the game and see how much time difference does it take. And here you can see that game is loading in the highest graphics settings and it did not take more than three or four seconds to load the game and also you can see the visual properties or the detailing in the graphics I'll zoom the camera and show you like each and every particle or each and every texture of the game is looking awesome now let me quickly start the game and then I'll show you like how is the performance like do we have any freeze or if we have any lag in the game so here you can see that the menu navigation of this game is quite fast and I hit on next and next so let me start the game so here also the game will start loading and you can see that it is not taking more than five six seven seven seconds and within seven seconds the game is completely loaded now let me start the game by tapping the screen and here you can see that the game looks very natural it is giving vivid quality colors and the smoothness is really awesome you can see that there is no lag there is no freeze and the controls i'll tell you the controls are very accurate you don't feel like the car is going some other direction and you want to take it to other direction so uh, the controls are also nice because the sensors are of high quality Alright, so I'll tell you that the speakers are really loud like we have the stereo speakers so the sound will come from both the ends so you don't have to worry like if you're blocking one of the side of the phone then the sound will not come. Now let me show you another game which is Tekken. So here you can see that the game is also loading quite fast. Now you can see it's initializing 25% and I will not forward the video I will see how much time does it take. And I've seen in other phones like it takes 25 to 30 seconds to load this game. So let's see how much time does it take. So this is approximately 10 seconds. Now it's going close to 14 and 15, 15 seconds. All right. So it took around 15 seconds to load this game. And here you can see that the graphics quality of this game is also looking gorgeous. And also to tell you that I have tried playing multiple games on this phone and I did not feel any heating issue like wherever you hold the phone it does not heat at all. You will feel slight hot area near the center of the phone but that's completely okay because somewhere it will heat because the GPU is running the Mali GPU is running actively when you play any high graphics game. So in gaming this phone really rocks. Let's move to the next topic. 
all right now it's time to talk about the most important feature of this phone that is the camera yes samsung has brought the variable aperture camera for the first time in samsung galaxy s9 plus that means like this camera has capability to change the aperture from 1.5 to 2.4 and yes you can do it very easily through the pro mode which is given in the camera settings now here you can see that i've taken a photo which is in normal mode and even in normal mode you can see that it sends the objects very clearly you can see the colors are very vivid and the focus are very sharp you can see the color production of yellow color is actually as real as it is now let me move to the live focus so what happens in live focus like it will automatically detect like which object is near and it will do the bouquet effect at the background so there will be a blur effect in the background and it will save in the same style so here you can see that the background is blurred and the foreground is very sharp now this is happening because Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus has dual camera and because of dual camera it does these kind of effects all right now let's talk about the front facing camera and AR emoji so here first of all I'll tell you that front facing camera is of 8 megapixel and aperture size is 1.7 alright so how do you create AR emoji so basically I'll tell you that AR emoji will capture your face image and it will turn it into cartoon and you can animate those cartoons and here you can see that I have clicked my photo using front facing camera and I'll select mail and I hit next it will take some 10 to 15 seconds to create your emoji and now here you can see that this is my emoji and to tell you that this looks like 40 to 50 percent how I look so not bad Samsung has done some good work in creating artificial animations so let's see what else you can customize you can change the clothes you can change the hairstyle you can put some glasses so let me try putting some glasses so okay S this looks nice so you can customize according to your face if you want to look different then you can do some changes here as well so there are tons of options you can customize it so let me remove this because I don't wear glasses now let me change the hairstyle so there are tons of hairstyles here you can select any hairstyle and even you can change the color of this hairstyle and also you can remove entire hair also so there are tons of options to customize your uh, ER emoji so like that's really cool feature now once you are done with this you just have to click on OK so once you click OK it will save multiple GIFs based upon your customization and those GIFs can be sent over WhatsApp Twitter Facebook or any other social networking sites alright now let's see how does the animation recording works alright so this is my emoji and to tell you that this looks approximately 50% as I look so that's not bad actually uh, first time Samsung has attempted to create air emoji and that's okay now to tell you about the facial expressions here you can see that my facial expressions are not matching uh, exactly it's matching like 30% but let me check few more things like uh, let me open my mouth uh, yes it's opening let me smile eee. okay so this is also working so let me get angry oh. so this is a bit weird but yeah the facial expression is changing now let me do something else eee. Ooh, ah, ah, ee, ah, okay so this is actually uh, taking the expressions from your face and that's not bad now one thing is like you can record these things and you can play hello my name is Abhishek I am from tech virus hi alright so now you have seen that how AR emoji works and this works okay it's not great I can tell you that uh, iPhone X and emoji works far better than this but iPhone does not have feature to get your face into the animation so this is one step ahead but the quality is like 50% of iPhone X and emoji and hope so that Samsung Galaxy S10 will have far better ER emoji than Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Alright, now let me show you some of the sample images which I have clicked from this phone. 
in daylight as well as in low light so first of all this is a daylight shoot which I have clicked in a full sunny day and the same location I have clicked a far object so you can see the clarity and this is with the live focus like background is blur and foreground is sharp and then this image is in the night so this is actually very dark but in image it's looking quite bright and here also is the night photo so the brightness and the clarity in night is really awesome all right now let's talk about the battery performance of samsung galaxy s9 plus as you know that this contains 3500 mah of battery this battery gives you around 14 hours 12 to 14 hours of backup when you use it moderately but thanks to the fast charging adapter which will charge your phone in like one hour you will have enough battery to go for the entire day all right now let's talk about the benchmarking score so here you can see that Antutu and to benchmarking shows as 2,46,749 for Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and this score is better than iPhone X. Now let's talk about the Geek Benchmark score here single core we have 3,700 and multi core around 9,000 which is less than iPhone X. Alright now let me quickly show you the new earphones by Samsung. So here you can see that these are the new earphones which is tuned by AKG and the wires in this earphones are really good like they are tangle free wires and they looks very durable now to tell you one thing that the earphones are very comfortable it will fit in your ears and it will not easily fall as like compared to the old samsung earphones that was like falling off very easily when you move your head now one thing to note that the base of these earphones are not that great but the sound clarity is really good and the loudness of these earphones are also great. So a welcome move by Samsung to introduce these AKG earphones with Samsung Galaxy S9+. Plus. Alright, so at the last I would like to tell about the free case which comes with Samsung Galaxy S9+. Plus. This case is good, it fits perfectly but it's a bit slippery so you might think of changing this case. Alright guys, so this was my review for Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. I hope you liked it. And if you like, do subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up. And if you have any question regarding this phone, please mention in the comments below. Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.